So maybe you have a vehicle that has a title problem. Maybe you bought a vehicle on Craigslist, didn't get a title. Maybe you bought a vehicle from an auction or on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. Or maybe you got a title and you lost it before you put it in your name. How do you fix that problem? Well, you may have heard a lot about different loopholes you can use, whether it's Vermont, Montana, Mechanics Lean, all these different little uh, backdoor loopholes to get you a title certificate, which is what you want to get for your vehicle. You know, it looks something like this. It's an official government document. And the important thing is making sure that what you do is, first of all, legal and correct, and it's not going to create any problems for you. Before you start looking at loopholes or going out of state, realize that every state has a process to solve title problems. As long as you have a legitimate vehicle, it's not stolen, no liens, not a junk vehicle or salvage, there's ways you can get a title. And I wouldn't consider this a loophole, it's the actual process. Most states you can do what's called a bonded title, where you get a surety bond for the vehicle, cost maybe a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks for some more expensive vehicles and you file it and you get a title. In every state, you can also file for what's called a magistrate title or a court order title. Now, before you hear the word court and think that it's a big involved process, it's really not. It's not like a big court case like you see on TV with a jury and expert witnesses and all these type of hearings. It's an administrative process where the court steps in and helps override the runaround the DMV is giving you. Now, what you see on the screen is an example of that from Montgomery County, Ohio. And the reason I'm showing you this is because most counties and states don't have a packet. See where it says here, you receive this packet. There's three counties in the whole country that have a packet. There's 3000 counties in the country. So one tenth of 1% have something. And exactly what it says here, it says there is a process established to obtain a title when this happens, meaning that you can't get a title from the DMV. So you can use this process. Now, how do you solve the problem if you're in another county? If you don't happen to be in Montgomery County, well, what you can do is you can take this packet, use their same documents, just cut and paste and change the words for your county. You have to file four documents, the petition, statement of facts, declaration of interest, and a title application. Our website, cartitles.com, will give you all the instructions to do that. Just go to the section for court order titles It'll walk you through it step by step. We even have other videos that'll give you more instructions. We even have a title service. If you want assistance with these documents, we can even help with it. We even have title consultation. If you want to uh, talk one-on-one -on -one live with a title agent, certified title agent, you can do that as well through the website. But keep in mind that you don't need to do any kind of really complicated out of state flipping backdoor loopholes to get a title. As long as you have a legitimate vehicle, if it's your vehicle, you deserve to have a title. And there's ways to do that using existing processes. A lot of places won't tell you about them. Even the DMV sometimes won't tell you about them because they don't know. A lot of DMV employees don't know about these processes because it goes through the court rather than the DMV. So before you panic and worry about getting a title, make sure you avail yourself of all the proper resources and make it easy on yourself rather than having to jump around all these kind of backdoor loopholes.